What's up, Final Fantasy fans? Uh, if you didn't know, they released the, I guess, final trailer for Final Fantasy VII uh, Intergrade, uh, Remake Intergrade, um, which is the PS5 version of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I guess it's a port, an upscaled port, and I guess they improved a lot of quality of life for the game. But it seems like um, uh, they're going to be moving forward on PS5. I wonder if they're going to still release like uh, Remake Part 2 on PS4 and like older systems, but uh, I feel like moving forward they might just stick to the next gen, or current gen now, like PS5 and maybe Xbox Series X. But let's take a look at this trailer. Uh, I know that they're probably going to show a lot of Yuffie stuff for the DLC, but I think what this trailer is trying to do is show that um, Intergrade will be at a constant like uh, 60 FPS so hopefully that shines through <laughs> oh. so that thing that's a whisper too huh looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the other looks pretty good looks pretty good so far <laughs> developmental footage something needs to change what are they going to change about it though interesting but the 60 What's FPS that? Looks you think amazing. Coming this way? <laughs> Makes me wish I had a PS5 so I can experience this like high res, actual high res version 60 FPS. Let's make it a night to remember. Now, let the hunt begin. Okay, so there's Vice. And it looks like he is just going to be a VR boss challenge. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. Don't deny me. Embrace me. Sephiroth's lines were a little cringy, in my opinion, but... Okay, so here's the DLC. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but... Just hit me with it. Gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? I did bring these. Who ties famous to chow beans? Eat up, and here you go. Huh? You look about ready to die of boredom. Wanna play Fort Condor? Fort Condor? So Fort Condor is the... I guess they changed to a board game and remake. Which is very, very interesting. Still shares the same mechanics with the, the old original. At long last, Wu Tai's finest deign to join us. I was Scarlet, director of advanced weaponry. It was one of her machines that killed Melfi. Hmm. Allow me to present the latest innovation in Shinra battle armor. What? This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. All 30 seconds of them. Scarlet's a boss fight now? Okay. So the team-up mechanic is there, but I'm wondering how it works though. Llama, wow. Who would have thought they would put that summon in? Which makes me wonder if they're going to put in all the other original how summons from the original. You. How dare you stand in my way. Oh, Deep Ground is making a heavy appearance in the DLC. Let the games begin. <laughs> Damn. Still looks great, though. This is just wrong. <laughs> is that when they drop the plate? I'm gonna guess that's when it is. Interesting. Yes, so the upgrade system is if you have the disc, disc version, you upgrade to the disc version of Integrate. Um, if you have digital, you upgrade to the digital. You can't do either or. But uh, Integrate looks good. Um, it really shows that they're taking advantage of the PS5 hardware, which makes me wonder if and when they're gonna release uh, uh, Integrade and maybe 
the subsequent parts of remake on other platforms. Um, because if I remember, if I remember correctly, the original remake on PS4 was a timed exclusive for about a year or so. So I think we'll see um, remake part one at least, Final Fantasy VII remake part one, released on other platforms. But Integrate looks great. Uh, of course, the DLC is only available on um, PS5, so only through Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate. <laughs> I'll just say Integrate, saying the whole title is a mouthful, but uh, the the uh, improvements look good. You know, constant um, frames, 60 frames per second looks smooth. Uh, I'm going to also guess that they're going to add in, like, different optimizations, so... <clears throat> performance versus quality and then HDR and all that stuff. I'm not too familiar with what those actually do, but it's just to make the game look more crisp, I guess. Uh, and who knows when Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two is coming out, right? Uh, which makes me wonder if uh, this is gonna kind of tie into the marketing for Part Two. And um, the DLC looks great, Yuffie looks great, and it looks like she's going to be in Midgar around the same time that you play through Part 1. Because they do talk about the plate falling, and we do see, uh, what is it, like, other Avalanche members, dif different cells of Avalanche. So that'll be interesting to see. And then we have uh, the Fork Condor minigame, which kind of retains... Um, the mechanics of the original and um, from the old game, but who knows if we'll actually see uh, that location in remake. Hopefully we do, and hope we see uh, like other characters like Sid maybe hinted at, Vincent maybe hinted at, because it looks like Deep Ground, which was a group that was more prevalent in Dirge of Cerberus, they're making a big presence in the DLC, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but overall, I think this um, <laughs> this look at uh, Integrate uh, is just going to create more buzz, more hype for the Final Fantasy VII fans. Um, <laughs> and then I guess it's also going to push these fans to get the PS5 if they don't have it already. Uh, <clears throat> you know, like even as they try to restock, I think it's still hard to find PS5 these days, but... I don't know, like, it's Final Fantasy VII, Square Enix knows what they're doing, and because they also have um, most of the old crew who worked in our, on the original working on the remake, then you're still going to get the spirit of the original, but it's still a remake, so who knows where the story's going to go, but uh, what do you think of, fun, of the final trailer? Are you excited for Integrate? Uh, are you excited for Yuffie? Um, are you still, like, um, Holding your anticipation and hype for the new upresed 60, 60 FPS version of the game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and as always. Thanks for watching another video. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.